Alright, so what I have here for our testing purposes is a variety of a couple different types of ammo. Um, for the 9mm, I've got some Federal uh, 9mm, brass case, and then I've got some uh, tool ammo. The steel case stuff. I don't know if the what the case is made of will make a difference or not. Um, I have two test groups. What I'm basically going to do here is I'm going to have one that I'm going to completely saturate and put in a bag. And then I have another group here that I'm going to basically spray just kind of spray down a little, you know, to simulate as if you were cleaning your gun or something like that and you happen to spray your ammo with some WD-40. Um, and then for the, I've got some 223 here, 5.56, five, uh, I've got some M855, uh, some Lake City. This does not have the sealed primers. Uh, I thought I had some some ammo left with the sealed primers and bullets on it, but apparently I don't have any of that right now, so we're not going to be able to test that out. But I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference because it's supposed to seep through the metal itself or possibly into the primer, so I don't think it being sealed would make much of a difference. But yeah, so I've got some Lake City 556 there, and then I also have some of this uh, Monarch 223. Um, Verdan primed steel case lacquer coated ammo. So, got a nice little variety of different ammo types. We'll see if uh, that makes any difference at all in this test or not. So, uh, let's go ahead and uh, get started. Alright, so for the first bag of test ammo here, like I said, we're just going to completely saturate this stuff. Got my WD-40 here. This is just regular can of WD-40. We're just gonna saturate that stuff real good. say that ought to keep it pretty well saturated. Just gonna spread it out and uh, get the air out of there. Spread that out and uh, we're gonna let that sit for about a week or so before we test it out. Alright, so for the second batch we're gonna do not gonna spray as much on this one we're just gonna give it a nice little uh, coating kind of simulate you know if you were cleaning your gun with WD-40 or something like that and you had ammo sitting nearby um, you know and you happen to get some on it shake it up real good Get most of the air out of there. Yep. And then just like the other one, we're gonna leave these sit for about a week. And then we're gonna come back and test them, try to shoot them, see what happens. See if we can get uh, to the bottom of this, see if it's a myth or not. Well, here's what the ammo looks like after a week of being submerged in the WD-40. It actually doesn't look bad. Um, I was expecting it to be more discolored or something, but actually doesn't look bad at all. Uh, the 9mm has some spots on it. 
But uh, I'm gonna shoot these rifle rounds first. These are the ones that were completely submerged. Uh, and I'm here at the rifle range right now, so I'm gonna shoot these now and then I'll have to go somewhere else to shoot the 9 mil because uh, pistols aren't allowed at this range. So we'll do the five rounds of my M855. We're completely submerged. And then we'll do, I thought I had more of these and completely submerged, but it looks like I got two rounds of the lacquer cased Monarch steel, steel case stuff. Here we go. That shot, no problem. <laughs> There we have it guys, they all fired. Oh, those were the ones that were fully submerged, so I think the other ones are gonna be just fine. We've got three more rounds of the uh, lacquer steel case stuff. And then uh, I think five more rounds of the M855. Well, none of this stuff has sealed primers or anything like that. This is just your standard uh, off-the-shelf stuff. You know, none of it's military. I'm pretty sure these are going to work fine because the ones that were completely submerged for over a, work, a week worked fine. So, uh, might as well have fun shooting them. issues whatsoever. Gotta say I'm really surprised by that. I really expected uh, at least to get one or two of these that uh, the WD-40 just soaked through the primer and uh, or got into the powder and uh, ruined it. Really surprised that didn't happen. Gotta show you all this. I'm sitting here shooting a freaking deer not 25 yards from me. I actually had him walk right out in front of the tubes before. I don't know if I have some issues with this pistol ammo. It's not liking that at all.
Alright, so as you guys saw, the pistol ammo was actually giving me problems. You can see how there's burnt residue on the outside of these casings. Um, I really didn't like the way the gun was acting, so I decided to go ahead and uh, call it. I didn't. Even, I shot the five shots of the brass that was fully submerged, and uh, I didn't even get to the tool ammo because I just really didn't like uh, the way it was it was shooting. Um, it was, I guess, possibly some of the powder, some of the WD-40 soaked through to the powder because it was not cycling the uh, P07. And uh, I know it wasn't my muzzle device or anything because I shot like 50 rounds or so through this thing the other day flawlessly. And uh, if you go, if you watch the video, you can definitely uh, see that there was something not right going on there. And uh, I actually felt like some debris kind of come back and hit me in the face. And I believe that that was unburnt powder, probably powder that got uh, that got soaked by the WD-40. Um, I was just about to call. You know this myth busted or you know debunked or whatever you want to call it but uh i guess rifle ammo is good to go if it gets some wd-40 on it but uh it looks like the pistol ammo is a no-go very interesting results